Hi everybody, welcome to Dandelion Cottage and Watercolor Wednesday. I'm Leslie Watkins. I have these beautiful flowers that I'm going to paint today, but let me, I want to turn the fan off because I'm afraid that makes a noise on the video, so hang on just a moment. It's going to be a hot day today, so I've got all the doors and windows closed to keep the cool air in and the hot air out. But these are these wonderful helianthus flowers that I have growing all over the place. They, um, they self-seed readily and they're really pretty this time of year. And, uh, and I think that when the, um, the seeds form, that the birds like to take them. So um, not only are they pretty, but they're also attracting birds to the garden. I'm going to paint with ink today. So I've got my Fluid 100 paper. And I'm just going to grab this scrap that's on top. Because what I want to do is I want to paint a flower, but then I want to turn it into a 3D flower for a decoration on a box that I'm going to show you in a little while. So I'm just going to do a, actually I'm going to do two because I'm going to overlap them. And, um, and I, really, I really don't need to do a sketch for this. But, um, but you can if you want to. We also have some older punches that will cut out these sort of daisy-shaped flowers, which are nice. So I've got some inks in this little palette here. And... I'm going to grab my medium brush I'm just going to start with some yellow and I may have to add a little more ink to this and I'm not worried about staying in the lines because I'm going to cut these out when I'm done So there's a start. I'm going to add a little more yellow. Let's see, what do I have here? This is crushed curry. That'll work. The registration period is now open for the Watercolor Card Club. That is a subscription program where I show you how to paint a different subject each month. And uh, last month we did peonies, the month before that we did roses, and this month I have a surprise for you. And, uh, and I'm actually going to be sending out a specimen in your kit to paint from. So if you're already in the Watercolor Card Club, thank you, and you're in for a surprise. And if you're not in the Watercolor Card Club, 
you have until the 15th of next month to sign up. So the subscription period goes from the 16th to the 15th. So there's still time. You've got plenty of time. And, um, and this would be a particularly good month to start with because um, it's going to be a lot of fun. And I think you'll all enjoy that. Now, you can also get the Watercolor Card Club for free if you join my team. And this is a fantastic time to join because there is a joining special going on right now from Stamping Up. And in addition to getting your 20% discount on all your supplies, you also get that wonderful planner that I showed you last time. And, um, and the starter kit. And you can, um, you can select whatever products it is that you like for your starter kit. And you would pick $125 worth of stamping up fine paper crafting products. And you'd only pay $99 for them plus get free shipping. And there's some other little goodies in the box as well. That's not all. But um, if you're a watercolor painter or you want to learn to paint with ink, you would then get the Watercolor Card Club for free as a member of my design team. So that might be something that you'd be interested in. All right, so I've got these flowers coming along here. And I think actually, since I've got a little bit of extra room down here, I think I'm going to add a little one. So I'm just going to put a spot of color. Like so. And I'm not even sure what colors are on my palette here. It looks like um, this might be Cajun Craze. And, uh, and I've got Crushed Curry, but you could use any colors you like. Whatever works with your project. All right, now I'm going to continue painting on these after I cut them out. So I'm going to zoom you in. Just going to roughly separate them to start with. I think you're going to like this box that I've made, that these are going to be the decoration for. So you want to stay tuned for the, for the grand unveiling of this 3D, 3D pop-up box that I've made. Okay, so there we go. Very simple. If I was smart, I would have had one made ahead of time for you so you wouldn't have to watch me do this. I slept out in my camper last night 
And it was so lovely because early, very early this morning, we had a little bit of rain. And it was so pretty listening to the sound of the rain on the roof. And then by the time I got up, the sun was, was coming up and it cleared up. And it was just one of those beautiful mornings where everything was all fresh and washed by the rain and birds were out. And it was such a pleasure. Okay, so this one's just about done. And I want to just, I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to put a little paint on the, on some of these edges. So the white of the paper isn't so bright. Now, one of the things about these sunflowers, if you look closely, you'll notice that the ends or the tips of the petals are kind of uh, a little bit toothy. So you could just go around and add some more detail like this. And um, and then notch it a little bit, but I'm not going to do that right now because that'll take too long. So I'm just going to very quickly cut out this other one just so that you can see where I'm going with this idea. I'm going to save this little one. My camper is set up not far from where the chicken coop is. And the chickens were really surprised this morning <laughs> when they saw me coming out of the, the camper to, uh, to let them out into the run. They had a lot to say about that. If you have any questions about um, how to join my design team and how to, how to join Stamping Up and get that wonderful starter kit and your discount, just go to my website at dandeliancottagedesign.com and there is a page there called Join and all of the information is on there plus all of the additional benefits that you get as a member. And there are a lot more, too many for me to mention here, but um, definitely worth checking out. You're under absolutely no obligation and you can stop whenever you like. So it's a, it's a pretty darn good deal. And particularly now during celebration when you get all those goodies, including the uh, the planner. Okay, so here are my two inked flowers. Now what I do want to do is go around these edges. And these do not have to be fussy, carefully done flowers, okay? Just, you're just going for an impression here. Just get the color on there. 
and the shape and they'll look great. And I'm going to stack these together. So I'm going to use this one as my top flower. So I'm going to make the center of this flower a little bit darker. And I'm going to give it that texture that these sunflowers have. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to grab a dimensional and before I put them together I'm just going to use my bone folder curl the petals a little bit. All different directions. Be a little bit darker. There we go. That's better. There we go. Okay, so that's going to be the decoration for my box. And I could add some leaves. I may do that. I think, um, so th this video is not too long today. I think I'll do that off camera, but I think I'm going to add some of these leaves because you can see how pretty they are. Okay, let me see if I can get one in the camera for you. You see? So I think that would be a really nice addition. So I think I'm, I'm going to go ahead and um, paint some leaves just as I did the flower. But I want to get to the box because I want to show you the box that I've made. So here's the lid. All right, so that's going to go on there, something like that. And actually, if I just pull off one of these real leaves so I can show you what I've got in mind here to paint. I'm going to add another leaf, something like that, maybe a couple. All right, so that's pretty cute. And of course, you could do this with all kinds of flowers and all different colors. But can any of you guess what's inside the box? Let me check my comments here and see if there's any any guesses. I see I've got some people. I've got Ginger, good morning, and Kelly. Can you guess what's inside the box? This um, paper that you see on the lid is actually that paper that I painted the last time, um, I think it was on Monday, that I painted that. Or maybe it was last Wednesday. I'm not even sure. I'm losing all track of time. Okay, I'm checking, checking. Any comments? And no, I don't see any guesses yet. All right. 
Well, I'm going to open up the box so you can see what's inside. Before I do that, I'll show you the sides. All right, so this is the DSP that you can get for free with a $50. Oh, actually, this was a $100 order because it comes with a stamp set as well. I think it's called Wonderful World. So you get both the DSP and the stamp set and I use that on the sides. And this is the the paper that I painted with the inks last time. So I'm going to check one more time. No, I don't see any guesses, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the box. So here we go. I'm going to pull off the lid. And inside, I've got our little camper. Okay, and there's the little dog. And I've got a backdrop of trees but before I put it together entirely I wanted to show you how this all comes together so I've already made the little 3d camper okay and it has the uh, the door whoops let me get you in there the door that opens All right, it's got an awning, and this is some of the DSP from that same pack that you get through Celebration. And all of these die cuts were made with the Tree Lot dies, which is also a, uh, a free selection that you can pick with a $100 order. And of course, I use the, the camper the um, accents for the camper. I used the flags and various trees. I used the pole and the dog. And there's still lots more that I haven't even used yet. So the way this works is this, let me zoom you out a tiny bit. This piece is going to be glued down to the side here to create this little diorama, all right? But it's a lot easier to put on all your trees and things while it's still flat. So of course these pieces are the uh, paper that I painted to look like sunlit woods, sort of um, green with with yellow sunlight coming through. And then the trees are all layered up on dimensionals. So they are all on different layers. I think you can see that. So some of them are two dimensional thick. And then it's designed so that when these corners fold in, nothing nothing gets caught up on anything else okay it, it all comes together without bending or or folding or butting up all right and then the other side of course this is the outside of the box so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and put the box together now and the way i'm going to do that is i'm going to put some glue on here and make sure that my corner meets up nicely. Hold that for just a moment. And I'm going to grab my bone folder 
give that a little press. Okay, and then the box can be opened so that you can look in and see the little scene. Now there's a lot more room here that you can put a message or if you'd like you could add more trees and it'll have all sorts of uh, things like a campfire or maybe a little table or some stones, whatever you like. So there's, there's still plenty of other elements that you could add to it. And then it just folds in on itself like so. And then the lid holds it all together. All right, and that's going to look something like that. And of course, I will I will add a couple of leaves too. So that's what I've got to share with you today. I hope that gives you some ideas. If you would like to join my design team and take advantage of all those benefits and the special offer that's going on right now, I would love to have you join me. The information, again, is on my website at dandeliancottagedesign.com. I will also be posting all the links below so that you can find things easily. And remember, there's still time to sign up for this month's Watercolor Card Club, and it's going to be a really special one. You don't want to miss it. So thanks. Have a great day. Stay well. Be creative. And I will see you next time.